In this healthier Halloween sweet recipe, dried fruit does an uncanny and delicious ghost imitation. For this recipe, you need melted white chocolate. I'm gonna do it in a double boiler with a saucepan and then just a metal bowl dropped right down into it. A few extra chocolate chips never hurt anyone. And then put it on a medium low heat. You could also do this in the microwave, but I really like a double boiler because I can kind of babysit the chocolate a bit. Before you start this process, you want to make sure that you have two sheet trays lined in parchment paper. This is what you'll put your ghosts on. The whole thing will go pretty fast once the chocolate's melted. And then turn the water off. You can pop it back on when you need to. And the fun thing here is that you can sort of raid the bulk aisle, get whatever you're in the mood for. Today I have dried pineapple slices, which are extra cool looking ghosts, banana chips, prunes and dried apricots. I also have dried blueberries and sunflower seeds for eyes. So you just have to jump in and just give everything a big dip, shake it off in the bowl, and then lay it down. And then I have to choose which eyes I want. I might go for two blueberry eyes and then make some angry eyebrows with sunflower seeds. Okay, so we'll just keep going. Now that your chocolate's all gone, the ghosts are ready for the refrigerator, you need them to chill for about an hour so that the chocolate sets up. These have set and you can tell by when you pull up they just peel right off. These are the kind of thing that you can just have in um, your refrigerator too if you've got a couple Halloween parties going on. They'll last, maybe, <laughs> unless you eat them all. The cutest Halloween treat you'll ever eat, white chocolate ghosts. Happy Halloween!